Hello and welcome to another edition of AQHA News. I'm Billy Lofton. Six new members were inducted into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame in 2012, but last week those inductees were honored again at the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum as their display cases and biographies were unveiled at a dedication ceremony. Three individuals and three horses entered the hall this year. Horses Indigo Illusion, Hollywood Dunnett, and Streak in La Jolla, and three people, Gordon Hannigan, Bob Loomis, and past AQHA President Walter Fletcher. Oh, it means a lot. I mean, it really is a select group, and I'm honored to join them. I've watched many of the previous ones over the year, and I've always admired them, and, and it's unbelievable that I'm in there with them. Among the artifacts and memorabilia donated by the class of 2012 include Gordon Hannigan's gavel, the black chaps worn by Bob Loomis, and the crystal trophy won by Indigo Illusion at the Fabergé Special Effort Futurity back in 1983. Including the class of 2012, 233 men, women, and horses have been inducted into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame in the past 30 years. Their biographies and donated artifacts are viewed by thousands of visitors from all over the world who come to Amarillo, Texas to the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. The 2012 American Quarter Horse Youth World Cup will wrap up Saturday in Croit, Germany. International teams representing 15 countries are competing for gold medals but also enjoying some priceless training during the week-long event. Top clinicians from around the world are conducting clinics in each discipline from cutting to trail to showmanship. The clinics and the social aspects of the Youth World Cup make it much more than a horse show or competition. I mean, what this really does is it brings the worldwide youth family within AQHA together. It's extremely educational, and it's a lot of fun for the kids, so I'm all pro. I love to watch the kids become the coaches and the managers and the supporters because I've done it so long, and I've watched at Merzham come back, Grisha Ludwig, all of those who were just kids at the Youth World Cup and now they're professionals. This unique event is held every two years and will be in College Station, Texas in 2014. To watch video from the Youth World Cup, visit youtube.com slash AQHA YWC 2012 or keep an eye out for more on AQHA.com slash showing or YWC 2012.com. We want to thank AQHA corporate partner Farnham for making the video coverage of this year's Youth World Cup possible. This past weekend was a big weekend over at Riadoso Downs for the running of both the Rainbow Futurity and Derby. Carter's Cookie in just his second start took home the Futurity, while world champion Ochoa took home the record Rainbow Derby purse for the partnership of Jones, Cluck and Benson. Ochoa was ridden by jockey Roy Baldias and trained by Sleepy Gilbreth. The Built for Tough AQHYA World Championship Show is right around the corner, coming up August 3rd in Oklahoma City. AQHA corporate partner Pfizer Animal Health is sponsoring a free live webcast to be viewed at aqha.com slash youthworld. This year's show has more than 2,400 entries with 33 classes. Working orders are now available online along with health requirements and information on the Ride the Rail, Ride the Pattern clinics, all of which can be found again at aqha.com slash youthworld. AQHA is offering a registration special that can save you hundreds of dollars. For a limited time, if the horse is 36 months or older and unregistered, the horse can now be registered for only $300. To put it in perspective, typically it would cost either $550 or $1,000 to register an aged horse. In order to take advantage of this special offer, you must be an AQHA member and you must download the registration application and turn that in. Of course, you can contact AQHA customer service at the number on your screen at any time for help with the process or to ask any questions. August 1st marks a couple of notable deadlines. August 1st is not only the deadline for consigning horses in this year's AQHA World Show sale, but it is also the entry deadline for the Adequan Select World Championship Show. We'll be right back with the Built for Tough calendar of events right after this quick special offer from AQHA and the Horseback Riding Program. Friends, it's time to get outdoors and enjoy time in the saddle. And your American Quarter Horse Association has a special deal. 
For a limited time, get a three-year AQHA membership and a horseback riding program enrollment, all for $100. That's a $140 value. Plus, you'll get a $25 Drysdale gift certificate just for joining up. Visit the web address listed or call the number on your screen to take advantage of this offer today and reward yourself for time in the saddle. Here is this week's Build for Tough calendar of events. This weekend, AQHA will be providing on-site services at the TQHA Yearling Cell down in San Antonio, Texas. So stop by the booth, say hello, and wrap up any AQHA business you need to take care of. Come celebrate National Day of the Cowboy this Saturday at the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. A fun family event highlighted by an opportunity to ride an American Quarter Horse. Again, that's this Saturday, July 28th here in Amarillo, Texas. It's worth mentioning again, the Built for Tough AQHYA World Championship Show. It's coming up August 3rd through the 11th in Oklahoma City. Over to Europe, the FEQHA European Championships run August 11th through the 19th in Croy, Germany. Meanwhile, NRHA will host their Cowtown Classic in Fort Worth, Texas, August 11th through the 18th. America's Horse and Art will kick off August 11th here at the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum with an opening reception. From watercolors to paintings, drawings, and bronze sculptures, come visit the museum for its premier annual art show, which will be on display through November. August is also a busy month for AQHA Regional Championships, with Regions 1, 5, and 7 all hosting their regional experiences in August. That was your Built for Tough calendar of events. As always, you can subscribe to or pick up the latest edition of the American Quarter Horse Journal for expanded event calendars. That's it for this edition of AQHA News. For more information on any of the stories in this episode, you can visit aqha.com news. For the American Quarter Horse Association, I'm Billy Lofton.